There we go. What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the Wall Street Vibe. We are here today with a special guest. His name is Trell from the Trap Cafe. Uh, we are going to be doing a lot of these videos here in the future, so be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And also be sure that you guys look at the description and make sure that you're joining the Discord as well. Um, he's giving out weekly live analysis of the of the market, certain stocks, what we're looking for in terms of uh, weekly watch list and how we're going to play each level. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Trell. You guys welcome him and uh, just be ready because all we do is eat in the in the Trap Cafe Discord. All right. Here with your boy Saint Trell. We're here to talk about Apple today. We're going to talk about a couple stages that we're in. We talk about uh, price movement in the four stages. Uh, some people look at uh, MAs and EMAs as lagging, uh, lagging indicators, and they just may be. But I look at them to be able to put me in my stage one through four. So we're going to talk about the stages that we see Apple in currently at this stage of where we are right now. Uh, <clears throat> last coming into this week, our monthly, uh, we're going we're going to look at our daily candles. Uh, Apple currently just failed our daily 20 last week when we failed this 150.41. So currently Apple is in the stage one. So right now what we're going to be looking at is because Apple has uh, crossed our resistances of this 148.50. Now we want to see if 148.50 wants to hold us and our support to bring us back to to retest our uh, daily our daily 10. Uh, from this daily 10, what we'll be looking for is do we want to make a high wick on our daily candle to keep ourselves coming back down to aim for this week down to our uh, down to our 200 to see if we can break down to the 147 to see if we want to go back into a, a mode of the, the 144 to 143 range. Uh, obviously, we just had some... Uh, Terrible news last week with the uh, the banks situation. So uh, we understand a lot of tech companies are, are underway of uh, some blood underway. So what we'll be looking for this week, very easy. We're going to come out <clears throat> at our 148. We're looking to see if 148 wants to hold us to bring us back to uh, 149.18 to see if 149.18 wants to break us up to our level of our daily 20 or do we want to stay below it to give ourselves a downtrend and see if we get uh, a daily candle of a body to come below this 148 and to see if we want to enter the daily 20. If we look at our weekly candles uh, as we look one thing we can see on our week right now on our week, we have 149.96 being our weekly five. And that weekly five last week when we lost that zone that told us on the week, we did not want to go up anymore on the weekly candle. So right now, this week, what we want to see is, do we want to come out and retest that weekly five to see <clears throat> if if we want to, uh, to uh, get bullish for the week above the 149.96 or do we want to stay below it so we can come – come down and test some more supports at our uh, lower levels as we talked about to see if we want to fail down to see if we want to come to that 200 to get in our support zones of our next zones down to the 145 to the 143 that we just left from two weeks prior so on apple this week we're looking for the rejection to bring us back down to some supports as we come back down to stay in these stage ones on our weekly candle I mean, on our uh, daily candles, on our weekly candles, we are still in the stage two, and we want to see if we want to come back and uh, retest that uh, that 143.92 to tell ourselves that our weekly candles may want to uh, fall into stage one as well. We, you just heard me talk about our our monthly twenty on a monthly twenty. Obviously, if we hold the monthly 20 uh, at this one uh, 53, 153.07 earlier last week, it has come down to 152.92 now. If we would have held that uh, last week, 
it would have told us that we wanted to stay bullish in that candle, but it didn't. So right now we're in a stage one in our monthly candles. We're still green on the month. Uh, we started our month off at an open of 146.83. So that'll be a very important level coming out um, as we see it's out of support right now below us. Uh, so if we do want to retest the low, we would want to come down to test that 146.83 to tell ourselves if we want to go bearish to fail uh, the monthly open as well to get in the bearish zone to break through the weekly 20 to see if we can get through that 143, 144 area. That's on Apple. Let's, let's chart over to AMD. On AMD, we've seen the semiconductors like AMD and NVIDIA. They've got aggressive the last in the last uh, few months off of that low that they got. Uh, so right now on our monthly on the video, we're <clears throat> not in the video, but uh, AMD, we're still below. So we're still in a, a stage one on our monthly on AMD on our weekly candles. We're currently in the stage two on our weekly candles with uh, our um, weekly band at 7270, uh, 7262 last week. We had a bullish week still with that rejection off the top top ropes. So this week we're coming out to see how do we want to hold a support above this five and this um uh, and this weekly this weekly five and this weekly fifty uh up below us at eighty seventy six and eighty forty five. Uh, if we go to our daily candles, our daily candles currently is setting us up at a support as we can see at a price level right here so we know we have a price level to come back and retest our daily uh maybe come back and retest our daily five at this 8307 and if we can't break over that 8307 uh we'll be looking to see ourselves come back to the downside if we do not want to hold our daily five if we can't hold our daily five we'll be looking at our targets to come back down to <clears throat> the daily the daily 10 We'll be looking to, go, to come back to that daily 20 as well. If we can't hold that daily 20, we'll be coming back to look if we're going to come back into the box that you already see that we have right here around this um, this level of 79, 73 to get down to this 78, 59 as well. So if AMD wants to play bearish this week and we do not want to uh, blow over the daily five above this 8307, we're looking to play downside to the 80s to the, and through the 77s. NVIDIA, she's been on a ripper since she hit our 108. Supports back in October. <clears throat> we see that right now on the daily candles. We came down and touched our daily 20. We held at support of the 227.26 on Friday. Now we're back at that medium right at that 230 resistance to see if this 230 to 233 range wants to continuously keep us in our stage three exhaustion to say we finally can get us a break at this daily 20 to get us out of the daily uh, a stage two of on our daily candles. So if we can go back into the stage one, we will have to fail this 27 this week. We will have to reject anywhere between this 230 and 233 range so we'll be looking to see if these price levels will hold us to uh to a resistance to bring us back down to a downside and to see if we can get below 227 to see if we can break back to the 222 to two to 217. on my weekly candles on the video <clears throat> last week we had a nice bearish candle we got up to our high of that 244 250 245 uh, now that we have that this week, our target would be if we want to stay to the downside, we'll want to see if we can break down to the day, um, the weekly five, which is at this 225.56. And if we can, if we can fall below that, that tells us for our weekly, we can hold our puts holding down to our next supports to see if we can break back through to get back to our levels. As you can see, 222 to 215. Tesla, ever since the meeting, she has given us the put season that we've wanted. So 
Clearly, Tesla right now is at our weekly 200. So she's at a crazy support. So we'll be looking to see how does Tesla react in our 173 zone. We want to see if she wants to come back up to uh, come back up to the 180 to defend. Or does she want to stay below? Right now, Tesla is in the stage one, as we see. Uh, <clears throat> this, uh, for me, it would have probably been a stage four because we broke the stage stage after after we fell from the uh, the twenty. We just kept on decreasing and couldn't hold our supports. So now at this one seventy three forty four, we want to see how does Tesla want to hold in our range to come back to see if it holds as it did on the previous time, or will we fail? as we go up to the next resistance to come back through this level to see if we can come back to our daily 50, which is right here at this 166.77. Spy. Let's talk about our spy girlfriend. Spy, she's been doing amazing for us. Ever since 418, we've been in a super short for uh, a month out for the 385s. So we finally got to our level. <clears throat> we finally got to our level. What a trade that has been. Now that we're here, we want to see how does how does our levels of the 120 on a daily uh, want to respect us? Uh, do we want to pop back to this 388 to actually hold for a day? Do we want to get back to our 390, which is our 200? Uh, or do we want to stay to the downside as we see that these banks have given us some downside in some some gray area to, that, to think that we would want to come back to these supports of our 380 that we've had before and prior? So this week we'll be seeing if our <clears throat> resistances wants to bring us lower to back down to our 380 range, 380 to anywhere from 375. So this week we're looking to see if we did want to pop. How does our pops want to bring us back down to the downside? SQQ, SQQ. We like SQQ because she's the uh, inverse of triple Qs. As we know, triple Qs and spy usually runs on the same type of plot and the same type of playing field. So right now what we're looking for we're looking to see if SQQ can finally overtake the 50 once again at this 41.94. One thing that we understand, when SQQ can truly hold 41, it usually goes back to 48. So let me show you what I'm saying. Right here. When SQQ holds 41, it usually breaks back to a 40, uh, 48 zone. Boom. Let me show you again. SQQ hole, 41, gets a high, goes back to the 45, comes back down to a support, comes back up to test, 47.78 in pre-market around that time, test the 48. Anytime that we can hold 41, we retest, try to retest 48. And the reason why I'm saying this about SQQ right now because if we can hold our 50 and we can blow past our 50 and hit it in our next uptrend, we can see ourselves hold our monthly 20. Right now, our monthly 20, as you can see, is at 42.66. If we can hold above 42.66, that tells us on the month for SQQ that we want to go into uptrend. So we could be searching and we can be hold, um, coming out at these supports looking to be in calls for two weeks out for 49.50s, or this week you can be looking to take the 46.47s, uh, 40, uh, 45, the uh, 46s uh, for the call for, for this personal week of 313 to 318. You could be looking for the 45 to 46 dollar calls, maybe even the 48 if SQQ wants to really get aggressive above the 20 if we can reclaim 42.66 and hold. We understand that data put us in a monthly uptrend on SQQ. So that means that we'll see more downside to the companies like Triple Qs, more companies like SPY, 
the companies that's up under XPY that's been holding strong, like your Googles, like your AMDs, your NVIDIAs, you'll see them looking to go back down to supports. Uh, and we'll be looking to see how those supports want to hold us for that next that next level. Amazon. As we see Amazon right now, Amazon just fell this monthly five. Now we want to see if we can stay below our monthly five. Felt out our daily, our daily uh five and our daily ten. Now we want to see if we can stay, stay at those levels. We know uh if we want to fail ninety three to ninety four, we understand that <clears throat> this level of eighty eight to eighty seven. Amazon likes to come back to. So if we want to fail these levels of 94 this week, we'll be looking for puts back down to uh, to the downside of, to our next support levels of around 87. So you can take your 86 to 85, anywhere from 87 to 85 puts. If we fail this zone of this 93 to 94 um, of where we are, oh, we're probably currently at 90.73, I'm sorry. So if we cannot reclaim these levels, look to play down to your next support levels as we can see across at this 87 mark on uh, Amazon. Google, as you can see, we're in our downtrend as well. We just failed our daily, our daily 20. Now as we, we come to our... Um, our next price price resistances we want to i mean price levels we want to see if we can break through this 88 to come back down to see if we can come back and replace this 86 this uh 86 to 84 support to be, now be able to say this is where we actually want to settle in or do we actually want to continuously fail we know that um, we are in our downtrend it may take a little bit of time but this is how you will. If we cannot cross the five, keep your eyes down to your next price levels to the downside so you can come out playing your 85 to 86 puts to uh, be a little bit closer to the money. So as long as we get to moving, you're already in the money. What I'm going to do now, uh, we talked about a, a couple levels. As we talked about a couple levels and stages that we're in for a couple of these companies, I want to go over tomorrow and as i pull up Mara, what i'll do is uh after i talk about Mara, <clears throat> i'll show mars contracts and i'll show mars contracts for where we are and what supports that we're actually looking at seeing that what supports can actually hold us currently now that we're in these ranges um these ranges of lows right here Thank you. So now we have Mara. Let's check out Mara. Mara failed our daily 50 early in the week last week. We played the puts down for our 550s. Did amazing. Now that we're coming out this week, <clears throat> right now we see BTC came down to 19 over the weekend. Now we see BTC pop back a thousand, a thousand dollars back. So. Now we want to see that if Mara wants to come out this week and go defend this 550 as we come out to see how do we want to um, defend this 550. If 550 wants to play as a resistance and we still want to have some failure on the week, we can look back to come back to see if we can get some bodies that's going to fill us down to the downside of the week that we have down to this 513. And we'll be looking to see if it wants to simmer in to see if this 507 will be this true support or will we break down below it? So I'm about to go into uh, a couple of <clears throat> things that we talked about on, um, on Apple. I'm gonna pull up some charts for us. So give me one second, boom. So right now, what we're looking at on Apple, we talked about we talked about Apple being at this 148.50. Talked about it coming out to try to retest that 149, 150 area, and what we'll be looking at this week if she wanted to fail. Correct. So what you would like to do coming out this week? 
You know that the 143 to 144 is our target marks. If we wanted to fill our resistances is above us. So what we'll do. So now we'll pull this uh, 144 up and what we'll be doing this week on this 144, right? Same way that we look at the charts, we'll chart this. So as we come to our resistances this week, what we'll be watching for, what we'll be watching for is... <clears throat> As we come up to the 150s, we'll see how does this want to come back to the supports, what supports it may want to come back to. If it does want, want to come back to, to retrace to the 70 to see if this is going to be a double bottom to catch to reject us to be able to go higher on this contract. So this week, as we see, this contract um, previously was at 240 before it fell off the cliff last time. And it was as high as 330. So what we'll be looking for, do we want to have a pullback as we as it wants to come out and hold 148.50 to, to retest the 150 zone or the 151 zone? So we'll keep our eye on this. So as it comes down, we'll be looking for this support of this uh, 60 on this contract. Uh, we'll be looking for the support of... 77 if it wanted to come down to this level. We're going to be looking at 94 if it wanted to come down. All we know is this would be a, a contract that we'll already be in. Me and my team is already in this contract from last week's 154 range. We already bought in for this week's uh, contract. So we're holding freebies right now. So we'll be looking to see how our freebies want to work out and if we want to uh, be able to enter with more size Going back into the same plan that we had last week. Boom. Looking at AMD. Looking at the video. We're, we're in those swings as well. Currently in <clears throat> the 2.15 for NVIDIA. So last week, <clears throat> we was able to get in NVIDIA at the 245, 244 mark. Um, we played these puts already, so we're currently holding freebies with NVIDIA. What we're looking for this week, we're going to be looking to see if our contract wants to come back down to a support. If NVIDIA wants to break up into the 230 to 233 zone to where we'll be looking to see if that resistance is going to hold us to be able to push us uh, to a support of these levels to see if we're going to be able to come back and reclaim the highs of last week. And if we can uh, get a little bit lower, we'll be looking to uh, retest the highs that we fell down from some point in time this week. If NVIDIA wants to cradle uh, our daily uh, our daily 20, if it wants to fail our 230 resistance marks that we're uh, sitting below. Boom.
Now we're looking at SQQ. Last week we bought SQQ as we we're down at the 36 mark, and we told ourselves as long as his 36 mark holds, well, we can break back into our daily 20 above our 37.50. We will hold our calls. So right now we, we sold here last week. Now we have a few more uh, contracts left over. Uh, so we'll be looking to see if, if SQQ wants to come down and hold a support to uh, start the week off around this 50 area to see if we get a pullback and then to see if we can get a blow through through the 42.66. Some point in time throughout this week to be able to hold to keep on pushing us through our contracts up to the levels that they just came back down from to see if SQQ can hold its monthly monthly 20 to get a an aggressive uh, burst through it to be able to see an uptrend up to the 45 to 46 sometime this week. Google. Let's check out Google $87 puts. What we'll be looking at this week, we'll be looking to see if Google can pop pop a little bit to see if we can get us a, a pullback on this contract to see if it can hold the supports of his last week's support, if it can hold anywhere around this 40 to 43 range, and we can see ourselves get a rejection on Google. This is what contract we'll be looking to enter if you didn't enter last week in our swings when we did it last Thursday. This is what we'll be looking at. We'll be looking at our same contracts to be if we're going to get a support to see if it's going to reject down and keep us coming down through the 88 support that we had uh, a week ago or two weeks ago uh, before we pop back to this 95 that we just seen earlier this uh, last week. So this is the things that we're looking at this week coming in on our watch list. These are the things we'll be mindful for. Obviously, if they wanted to get strong. We'll be looking to the to the other side, but with the bank information, we'll, we'll be looking at some type of uh, pullback uh, continuation on the week um, this week in the market. You guys, thank you guys for coming out on this special Sunday. Allow us to uh, come in uh, tomorrow. We're on the Discord on the Zoom Live. Come out to have fun with us if you want to. We're live every day uh, of the week. Uh, Monday through Friday, we're on at least for the first two hours of the morning, just giving the business with each other, breaking bread, and having an amazing time. You get a real live cast like you're at a sports football game or a basketball game with all the animation of joy within trading, not only within joy of the trading, but you get to see the demonstrations of what we're going through just like we did today of our tops and bottoms throughout our plans of what our levels are. We come in and talk about our levels at 8 a.m. Uh, CST time uh, through that 8, 8.25 to 8.30 time uh, to be able to get prepared as a team and execute all the way through. Tomorrow we start up our $1,000 uh, $1, 60 month mission on 10% to 15% a day. Uh, then we also start up our $1,000 swing account where we only swing from our on our on our levels and uh man it's about to be special so let's work, lock in and build this thing up for a 60 month plan as we go through these rock hard ships so we can get this money management all the way through let's rock out have a blessing yeah i'm gonna edit don't worry guys so if you enjoyed that let me know down in the comments again i'm going to plug the discord in the back uh in the uh description of this video so be sure you go check out the trap cafe discord i am also a member there um so what we do is we we talk out certain plays uh throughout the week as you guys see we're going to be doing the sunday sermon on a weekly basis giving you guys chart analysis and kind of what we're expecting the market to do and some trade ideas okay um if you want join the discord while it's free right now okay and um 
you know, eventually what will happen is it, it it's possibly going to turn into something. But um, again, you won't regret it. OK, so um, make sure you guys are joined up there. I'm going to have it linked down here in the description and comment down below if you like this type of content. OK, um, again, make sure you guys subscribe to the vibe. We're going to go ahead and keep rolling out. You guys have a good summer.